We woke up and saw the news. Our mains are gone, Dad. I think I'm aware of the situation. So what do we do? He was beginning to panic. First of all, we don't panic. Now, remember what I told you when you were a cub? If you ever get stranded, you don't care what you look like, you don't care what your place looks like, you look for food to live. So where are we going to go to look? Suddenly, I had an idea. We're going to wait for the guys. Chester and the other monkeys will probably be coming back with the fun mobile soon. And the rhino is probably going to come back looking for more coconut trees. We'll just stick with them until we can find something. Uh, Dad, they don't like us. Well, we're still the kings, right? You're the king. I'm just a prince, he corrected. And we don't look like it either. Then I heard squeaking wheels. The monkeys were on their way. Come on, boy, we gotta stop them. We stopped them just in time. What do you think you're doing? interrogated Chester. Oh, I am, uh, uh see, we, we, uh... What my dad's trying to say is it, it's us, King Richard and, you know, Prince John, me. We need to ride with you guys. We help you. <coughs> we are the court jesters of the king and prince. It's not a very good job, but I do it for the glory. And Farnsworth here is trying to save up for college. And Daniel there just likes the tricks. And there's no glory or money or tricks in helping bums like you. <gasps> well, son, those monkeys were never too bright. Anyone else would have recognized this, son? Even... I know that roar anywhere. Be careful. Oh, Pete, stop! What the? And the three rhinos stopped for me. See, Sam, there's nothing to it. Now just watch. Hey, what do you guys want? It's me, Pete, King Rich. I know it doesn't look like me, but there was this big attack from Zeus last night. We just need you guys to help us, please. You want us to help you? Listen, kitty cat, you don't want to go around impersonating those guys. They're the worst leaders no one would ask for. We didn't even want to be their load lifters. And now they're forcing us to carry coconut trees across the continent. And the last thing we need is you blocking our way. You ain't no king. Goodbye, kitty. What do we do now? My son asked. We're just going to look for food. Hey, Pete, do you think we're being a little too mean to those guys? Shut up, Raymond. What if those guys really were the king and prince? Well then, Spike, our horns are fired. See, Dad, no one recognizes us without our manes. Eh, hey, you're right, son. But hey, that ain't all bad. Now we'll just get a fresh start. So not everyone liked us as rulers. But not every animal is going to dismiss a couple of cats like us now. Suddenly, I saw one more familiar face. Would you look at that? It's Fig. Let's go try our new identities on him. Hey, what's wrong there, little guy? It, it was horrible. The entire kingdom was burned to the ground last night by a raid of tigers. My tail feathers were almost burnt off. And I believe my employers are dead. Well, that's just silly. We ain't... We ain't your employers, but we could use a little help from a toucan like you. Really? Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, sir. My name's Fig. I won't ask for much. I barely got anything when I was working for the rulers, and I didn't mind. I was feeling pretty pleased at that moment. But my son was thinking about something. Hey, Dad, were we really that mean to everyone? John, you gotta be tough to be a ruler. Doesn't mean you can't share, you remarked. So Fig, you know where we can find some shelter, maybe some food too? 
Oh, yes, sir, of course. I ran errands for the ruler all the time. King Rich had me memorize the entire jungle. Trust me. And before we knew it, Big Cat is back in green. There's a lioness in this village named Jenny. She's been watching over a kid for about a year, so I think she'll be perfect to watch over you guys. Thanks, Big. You're really making us glad. And let me tell you, he certainly was. Are you boys lost? Uh, yeah, miss. We kind of are. Oh, don't worry. I can take you in. This place looks really familiar, Dad. Do you think we once ruled it? I know some, but either way, I was missing out. So, uh, what are your names? Oh, um, I'm Roy. And, uh, that's my son, Joe. We just need a new home and all. Don't worry, Jenny reassured. With two elephants and all the other animals around here, we still have plenty of room. Why, well, thanks. Uh, ma'am, I'm afraid there's a rat crawling next to you. Who, Jeremy? Don't mind him. I'm just his babysitter. Maybe you could help out a bit, Joe, by watching him for me. Oh, sure. Well, we're having Z-Bird tonight, so I'll call you in when it's ready. Are we lucky or what? So, inside a little house, we got to know Jeremy and Jeremy, and then we got to settle down a bit. It wasn't the same as back home, but it sure was nice. And the next day, John, or should I say Joe, watching Jeremy and all, got to give Jenny a break, so she showed me around the neighborhood. New guy, eh? What's your name? My name's Roy. My son John is watching Jeremy in that hut over there. You said his name was Joe. Oh, rad, I'm a little forgetful. I wouldn't worry about it. You're not half as bad as my cousin is. He has trouble remembering he has a tail. But then again, he never sees it. The others laughed. I laughed too. Not because the joke, because it wasn't that good. But because it's been so long since I've heard an animal laugh before. The only times I'd hear laughter is when my son and I would make new laws. It was really nice to see other people happy. Zeus the Tiger was happy too, but not for the right reason. Master Zeus, I have something to tell you. It's about the king and prince of the jungle. They're finally dead, I know. Now go away, Skippy. I'm thirsty. Actually, sir, they are still alive. Ah, what? But I saw them both fall into the fire. The last I heard, they are residing in a village. They have shaved their manes and are going under the identities of Roy and Joe. Well then, Roy and Joe, I hope you enjoyed the fire. Because that was the mild method. Over the next couple of months, our hair grew and so did the number of friends we had. Jeremy was like a brother to John. And Jenny and I became even closer friends. But little by little, the other animals in this jungle disappeared. Every day, there was someone else I wouldn't see. I was wondering if they recognized me as the king and left. So one night, to make sure I didn't lose Jenny, I asked her opinion. Jenny, I said, how do you feel about King Rich? Ugh, don't remind me of him. If we hadn't acted quickly, this village would be gone. What do you mean? Remember the war last year? The one against the Fusa nation? What about it? Well, King Rich's kingdom almost lost it. Because we all separated. So this was that village. That's right, King Rich kept drafting everyone in. He drafted Jeremy's father in, and he never saw him again. The elders had the cure for the orphan boy, and that's when they made up their mind. So we separated from him. And the reason we don't have another leader here is because we don't want to turn anyone here into another King Rich. His power made him care for only himself, not his people. Well, if we hadn't fought back to Fusa, then our village would have been destroyed. I mean, King Rich's village and all of the other villages that he runs. So he was caring for his people. He wanted the glory, Jenny said coldly. He sent his own people out against their will to fight for him. Well, well, that's because he has his own problems. 
he has to give out orders every morning.